here we have about 200,000 euros of investment over the 10 years that the company is working. And I believe this is going to go down the drain. The cost of the Maybe bailout not, not deal tomorrow, is already stacking up. Six months. 100, 1,000, 600, 290, 220. They're all worthless at the moment. Yeah, I don't know. I feel we're the small fish, okay, that we try to get out of the hole and the big shark beat us. There will be a seismic reorganization of the financial system here. People with Bank of Cyprus accounts are expected to lose 30% of their savings over 100,000 euros. It does mean that smaller savers will not be taxed directly, but everyone will suffer because everyone here is predicting a deep recession. And many people say it's being forced upon them from Brussels and Berlin. The resentment runs deep. The calls to pull Cyprus out of the euro are getting louder. Well, we wish to stay in the eurozone, but after the decisions of the European Union, I think that exiting the eurozone is something that needs to be explored. Because, as I said, we're, we're heading for a deep recession, very high unemployment, complete uh, change of the business model of the economy of Cyprus. Therefore, we need to explore whether there are other ways to head into that direction. This new order in Cyprus means the Lyke Bank will be wound up. To Maria, it was the worst yeah. possible deal. She's worked there for 25 years, as has her husband. They have four children. It's my life, yes. Yes. I still cannot believe what happened. We have loans to repay. We have the children to, to help them study to the universities. We don't know what to do now. Everything changed. It's like watching a scary movie. It's real. Yeah, it's real. When the banks do finally reopen, there will be a surge of people desperate for information and money. The Cypriot economy has been forced onto its knees. Getting back up could take years. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Nicosia.